All right, back to Montreal we go, talking about the newest Montreal Canadiens prospects taken in the 2021 NHL entry draft in this stint. We have two to talk about in this little video here, sticking out in the fifth round. This initial pick, 142nd overall, was initially given out from the Flyers in the Nate Thompson trade. Remember that? Yeah, that was a year ago. So, Nate Thompson goes over to Philly, and in return, the Montreal Canadiens get this pick, which they use to select Daniil Sobolev, who is a defenseman who doesn't even have a profile picture. He's a guy, another right-handed defenseman here, so the Canadiens really clamping down on the right-side defense for this year's NHL entry draft. He's 5'10", 154 pounds, so he's not really the biggest guy in the world, pretty small, actually, from St. Petersburg in Russia. The biggest thing you'll note about Sobolev here is that he does not produce any points. That's probably the most th biggest thing that stands out right away when you take a look at his analytical profile. Six points, 48 games in the MHL, but he's not really a guy that's going to go out there and produce any points. He picks up checks early in defensive sequences, boxes them out from high danger areas, and pinches on them hard in the neutral zone as they receive passes, knocking the puck away. There is a physical element to his game as well, which is really good, especially considering the fact that he's only 5'10", but Elite Prospect says that it is his overall engagement in the game that defines his play. Furthermore, here's an article on the hockey writers talking about Sobolev, and they talk about the same things. Sobolev is among the other blue liners in this draft, the players who sacrifice their bodies to make plays, who play physically to protect the goalie, and most of all, push the play forward with their puck moving skills to their forwards rushing up the ice. I don't know if you can hear that, but there are cops outside blasting their sirens. This is what you get with Sobolev. He is not flashy, but he does get the job done. Give it a few more picks, and the Canadians down there with their, uh, what is it, the other trade down pick that they made with the Minnesota Wild, they take 150th overall here, QMJHL right winger, Josh Waugh. Now, Waugh is a really interesting one, because a lot of people really don't like this guy. The way he plays, I mean, you take a look at the numbers, wow, he's a point-per-game guy in the QMJHL, over a point-per-game in the postseason. Why was he taken 150th overall? Why was he ranked 74th by Future Considerations? Why was he ranked 85th by Draft Prospects Hockey, despite the fact that he has scored so many points? Well, he just kind of does what he wants to do, and it's not really the most translatable, I would think. However, he is a pretty good QMJHL point producer. He uses teammates to find scoring opportunities. He remains only a shooter, but as he can beat goalies cleanly over and over again at this level, you can't really blame him. Otherwise, he remains physical and a good puck protector, turning his back to opponents as they pressure him, holding the puck on the boards and finding short outlets, according to the EP 2021 draft guide. You can also see... But he isn't really ranked by elite prospects anywhere. They don't actually have an assigned number to him. But Joshua is a guy who you're really going to have to work with to make sure he takes all the good parts of his game and develops them to a point where they do translate to higher levels of play. Because again, he's a great QMJHL point producer, but where does that take him? The way he plays is not as projectable as somebody else in this league, like an Alexi Lafreniere, for example, who plays such a well-refined game that even though he has all the points and whatnot, you see his game and you see, man, this thing that he does, these little skills, these little abilities that he has, these are translatable qualities. Josh Waugh doesn't really have a lot of that, which is why he was taken here 150th overall instead of maybe somewhere in the top of the draft like his point totals, would probably indicate he should be. Either way, though, the Canadians have taken two picks over here. Sobolev is a shutdown right-handed defenseman, small guy from Russia. Joshua is a project from the QMJHL, who happened to actually be the first pickup in the QMJHL entry draft back in 2019. So we'll see how both of these guys and their careers pan out, but talk to me in the comments what you think about these Canadian draft picks over here. I hope you enjoyed this video. Rolls 99. And bye.